The Earth has changed so many times and transformed heavily from when formed. As a host, Earth has received many guests, and of course they didn't have good endings. Imagine that when you think about prehistoric times, you'd probably picture many terrible lizard we know as wild dinosaurs with its sharp teeth. But even before dinosaurs, other creatures ruled the Earth. Now ladies and gentlemen this is the Permian period. A period as big as 48 million years. Back then, our planet had one supercontinent, Pangaea. Surrounded by a world ocean called Panthalassa. Permian period begins with a bizarre cold, that covered half of the Earth. And absolutely, Earth is getting hotter each day with a variation planet and a rapid evolution. But before that, let's start from the beginning and take a journey back in the time. If now, you can travel nearly 300 million years into the past, you'd land in the middle of the biggest continent in the history, Pangaea. And this strange land mass, take up one third of the planet's surface. Maybe you could become the first human to see the first plant and meat-eating giant ever to stomp across the planet. But unfortunately, they too would see a grisly demise, as mass extinction event. That may have been the result of climate change. Welcome to a volcanic world. Violent eruptions changed the climate, shaped the landscape and paired the way for evolution, and so, 290 million years ago, for the first time Earth saw the very first seed-bearing plants, called gymnosperms. These plant carried seeds on their cones, and they spread across the supercontinent like wildfire. But who ruled prehistoric land? Cockroaches? No absolutely not. Something much more bigger was Empire Pangaea. Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon extinct relative of primitive mammals that is characterized by a large carnivorous, and it grew to over 3.5 meters long and had a large sail on its back, which is probably functioned in temperature regulation. This animal was an interesting as it was horrifying. Dimetrodon was a giant of its time. We are in the middle of one of the significant period. At this time other mammals took over the planet. Therapsids. They had a powerful jaws with a sharp teeth. Therapsid reptiles varied from the 5 meter, like the omnivorous Deuterosaurus to the 5 times smaller. During the middle of Permian period, Earth get hotter. The average global temperature on Pangaea grew to about 25 Celsius, and volcanoes it makes Earth look like a factory, and prevent sunlight from entering. Due to the formation of this great fog by volcanoes, it prevents sunlight entering and causes the destruction of plants and reduction of the planet's temperature. But after 13 million years, in the late Permian period, you meet another reptile. Lystrosaurus. Unlike all the scary prehistoric monsters out there, Lystrosaurus was a herbivore. It was just one meter long and had powerful front legs for burrowing. In terms of weight it would have been about 90 to 100 kilograms. And they are actually a mixture of mammals and reptiles. In this time frame due to the frequent eruptions of volcanoes, carbon dioxide was so high that it replaced oxygen in air, and it become difficult to breathe, to the extent that there was only 10% oxygen in the air, but fortunately now this figure has reached 21%. Every story has beginning and end. But this story has a different ending. About 252 million years ago about 90% of all plant and animal going to extinction. This terrible moment is called Great Dying and it was Earth's most devastating and brutal event. Archaeologists are still wondering what caused this great destruction. There are theories that make volcanoes the cause of this extinction. With the eruptions of volcanoes a large amount of ash is released into the atmosphere, which prevents sunlight from reaching Earth. Without sunlight, no plant can grow and this means the complete destruction of the Earth's vegetation, and without plant, no animal can eat. Because of released carbon dioxide, the temperature of the planet increases tremendously and this causes ocean lose most of the oxygen. Eventually, over 95% of marine species and more than 70% of land animal became extinct. <laughs> 